Welcome back to Ninja Shoot Play Super Smash Bros. Melee. Featuring myself, Spencer, and my co host, Matt. I'm playing as Fox. Matt's playing as Fox. We're here live on Twitch.tv slash Game TV. Oh my god. Fox versus Fox. FD, no items. This is this is not the first time this has happened. We went to the beginning of an episode. You think uh, any of the, the kids will remember that joke? Yeah. You just don't hear it very often anymore. It used to be like you're uh, everywhere. It was like that was a quintessential melee. It was Fox versus Fox on FD with no items. Yeah. Be right back. Sounds good. Actually, like, I was like, no, what am I doing? Why am I rolling? Damn it. One of these days, in fact, I'm going to start today. I'm going to get ledge dashing down. <laughs> tax You, know, you like caught my foot. It's like that scene in a movie where like uh, two, like the main character and some bad, no name fighting bad guy. Um, because you know there's also not fighting bad guys. Anyways, um, uh, are like showing each other their skills, and then the main character's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my kick move on you, and the guy's like, oh I caught it. I'm a skillful fighter. This is gonna be challenging for you, and then the good guy wins anyways. Whoa! I did not mean a wall jump right there. <laughs> that time you meant it. Yeah, that time I did. <laughs> You're like, oh, that was, that was scary, but cool. Let me, let me do that again. Don't you fucking uh, re-grab me while you're going down like your fucking elevator re-grab? The elevator re-grab. That's a fucking... The Gravelator. The, gra the, gra the Gravelator? Nah, yours is better. <laughs> I 
elevator regrab. All right, analyst, uh, uh, c coach, what am I doing wrong? All right. I've oh, okay. Is it, is it every, I'm doing it. Okay, I'm doing everything wrong. All right. So Thanks for that. Information, coach. I now know what I need to do. Everything better. I'm going to confess that uh, I was trying to land on Randall. I thought if I like went way up and then landed on Randall, it would like be like you know, mix up somehow. It didn't change. It changed nothing. Randall, what the fuck? You're supposed to reach out with your cloud arms and catch me. <laughs> All right. So I've been in this situation before. Last two games. Can I take another stock? Randall, that look cool. Shouldn't attack in place. Yeah. And Fox did it as a, is like you just you want to attack in place because you're like I can get get him I can get in there. Yeah, like oh I want to I want to reduce the amount of time as much as possible between me being on the ground to me being up and like ready to go. And you see a lot of foxes. Um, taken place but i think they've taken place in, in decidedly safer scenarios it's almost like they've like played it before and like kind of like understand usually when it's safe to do so i don't know it's weird i don't really i don't really, I don't really feel that knowing experience what's that nice Jump cancel up smash right there. Fuck it. Right. I've been in a situation before. Can I take another stock? I, 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 I had to do it, right? Like, it, it was the rule, right? I took another stock. And that was good. Definitely didn't mess up. No, I mean... It, it, look. 
Who knows the contract you and God did? You know what I mean? Is it possible to cover that with, with a multi-shine? No. Okay, so I shouldn't even try to shine at all then. No. Okay. See, to the uninitiated, you might think, oh, I mean, as Fox, you just want to be able to shine everywhere, right? Like, Fox can shine everywhere. But actually, contrary to popular belief, there are places where Fox shouldn't shine. Crazy. And knowing those places is what separates the good players from the bad. Also, jumping out of shine. That's actually what just separates the... When are you going to stop doing that? What, the get up attack? Yeah. When I die. Uh, I... Arguably already happened. Hey, welcome back. Judging on Battlefield is scary. It's the same on every stage. It feels scarier because there's not a wall there. Well, it doesn't matter. If you fuck it up, you're still dead. All right. Where do I want to kick Matt's ass? Or should I, should I say, where do I not want to kick Matt's ass? Obviously, Final Destination gonna go all right you know matt once he gets that grab it's grab 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 up smash or back air or shine off stage or something so all right we're going to yoshi's i like yoshi's i said that i like yoshi's game one best of five Matt, what's your favorite stage? Um, probably Yoshi's. I guess it's like the exact same Pokemon. Situation. FD. But I'm sure, like, if I played better players, FD might fall down to power rankings. Wow, dude. I'm just talking about people who can chain grab. Consistently. Not a slide on you. Just a slide on your abilities. Chain grab. Yeah. Yeah. I had a jump. All right, it's fine. I've been here before. Let's see if I can take another stop. I wanted to be a short hop falling up there, but okay. Oh, I was DI that way.
I keep thinking in that situation that maybe if I if I just delay a little bit, you might preemptively run in or something. Have I? Uh, no, not today. You have done it in the past though. But usually it's, it's like a different character. Anyways. What do you mean? You're not usually playing Fox. No, I like like. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, so I just lost. Um, I think I'm going to take you to Battlefield, which I tend to do pretty okay on. Never mind the previous game that I had on Battlefield today, which was not my most glowing example. had a chance there to recover. No. Oh, okay. Even stocks? Basically means we're the same uh, capability level right there. It'd be cool mm -hmm. is if you could input another direction midway through the uh, up, uh, up B and chain and like cut it in half and change it like turn it I think brawl minus has something like that yeah, I don't want like full control because that would just get too wacky and weird Joey. All right, we have a chance. We still have a chance. Let's go to Pokemon Stadium. Game three, Pokemon Stadium. Oh, shit. I was a little late on the uptake there. Did you hear me this morning when I woke you up? I said, can you put the coffee in? Oh, I didn't No, you're gonna make me jump and up out of this? What a cruel fucking game.
Usually I wouldn't mash a button. But if I miss the timing on this, I could die. I mean, if you die, then I'll kill myself. Okay. Is that all in like real mashing life. it just in game? <laughs> no. <laughs> Motherfucker, dude. Yeah, usually I don't like mashing it because like, I, I don't know if that's making that worse, you know? Like, I understand you got a lot of things going on under the hood that shouldn't actually be going on under the hood. And we're also running 20XX with something where they say it shouldn't work. But we made it happen. So I made it happen. You didn't do shit. Alright, well. Look, dude, I believe in proper credit. You know, when you do something, I give you credit. Okay, I'll try to insert myself into your shit. You know, we have a lot of stuff that we we, we say us on. Crash again? Yeah, it crashes a lot. You even teleport? Yes, I saw you teleport and it was crazy weird. That was actually my mind powers. I spec into 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 psychic abilities for Fox. I know usually people do like speed and you know um, sh shine, uh, but I went psychic and it's a lesser known build. Some people don't think it's viable. It'd be a magic and all, but yeah, I mean his his base stats don't really like scale well with it, but he do some cool stuff. Like that graph, for instance. Yeah. Mostly utility, but every once in a while you get something really weird. Oh, you should have shined. But yeah, Shag, we got like 800 different codes going on. So it's And also like custom unstable. stages and stuff. execution down things would be so much more interesting you know what I mean alright so fox versus fox game one Yoshi's story two minutes and one second I took two stocks Matt you had seven inch ones I had nine you had 13 counter hits I had seven and you had one beneficial trade we're going to play Pokemon absolutely, even though I'm going against all of Reddit and online media by buying the Pokemon game, even though Game Freak doesn't care about us. I mean, that's just like, that's just a day it's at just, the fucking, you know. It's just like, there's so much outrage nowadays about video games. I just don't care. Like, people, the only thing so I really entitled. actually gave a shit about was the Blizzard shit. You know? And that was mostly political. Yeah, well, that, like, warranted, I think, some, like, criticism, for sure. But, like, yeah. as far as game design and making the game, I feel like sometimes players, like, they they, they feel like they deserve something specific when... And, they're very entitled. Yeah, yeah they're, yeah, they're very entitled. And ultimately, ultimately what it does is if people were just... If developers were to just do the things, like, the exact things that players were yelling for all the time, then nothing would ever move forward and change. 
Like, do you really want to play the exact same Pokemon game every goddamn time? Yeah, well, basically, that's what everybody's saying. That they don't want to? No, is that that's what Game Freak is doing, that they're oh. lazy. Oh, is it? And that they cut the national decks for no reason. That's what I was talking about. Gotcha. They don't innovate enough. Uh, or they innovate and then they forget the innovation that they did, like oh, Megas and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, they just don't use them afterwards. Same, but I spoiled some things for myself and I'm not so I'm not so sure uh, Game Freak should be supportive of this. Oh. I, like I said, I just don't care. Yeah, it's the first Pokemon console game. Yeah, and it's I'm something I've been waiting it. for for like ever. Like years. Yeah. Something I never thought would actually happen. Um, I think, yeah, it's... It's, it's one of those things where... I mean, if it absolutely sucks, then I won't buy the new version that they come out with in a year. Take that, Game Freak. Idiots. Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> um, back to the game. So your move, your inputs were 341.2. Mine were 338. Um, you come with a down B, up smash, back air, and a down B. They're pretty low percents for most of them. I'm still buying, but I'm not exactly happy about it. I think, you know, it's one of those things where... You're not going to know until you play it, unfortunately. You know, a lot of those types of things are you're going off somebody else's um, uh, uh, opinion and 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 view, and you know, see for I think a lot of people they uh, jump on a bandwagon and then just do what other people say. Um, I could do an up smash and a back air. Wow, dude, check this out. I did 9% damage. No, I'm sorry. You did 9% damage to me in one second. And then I did 9% damage to you just afterwards in three seconds. Yeah, we traded something. I had to hit you twice. Probably a laser and then like a weak forward air or something like that. And you nared me or some shit. Scroll up. Up. Um, it says you had 13 counter hits and I had 7. Scroll down. Are all these opening counter hits mine or are they yours? I can't tell. Opening counter hit. No, I hit you off of a counter hit. So that that's your counter hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. So first stock, no big combos. Second stock, no big combos. I had a thirty-eight percent combo on your third on, on, on your second stock, and that was the only big combo. Everything else, I guess, you were just ledge guarding me. Yeah. Give me a pretty low percent most of the time. Battlefield. All right. Uh, duration two minutes and fifty-one seconds. Um, I got you down to the last stock at least. Um, you had 17 initial ones, I had 7, 6 counter hits, and I also had 6 counter hits. Um, you had 306 inputs per minute, I had 305. Oh, working at the same speed. I've noticed that our spacey games, we tend to be at like similar speeds if it gets similar down to the last. Tempo. Yeah, like the tempo is set. Um, same thing with like Marth versus Fox. Marth versus Falco, though, or you know, like just versus Falco in general, I think you you lower my speed with your your uh, zoning the lasers um you killed me with up smash neutral alert up smash and an up air i killed you with an up b and you killed yourself twice and almost gave me the win um i had a 38 percent combo on your first stock you had a 54 percent combo on my second stock a 44 percent combo on my third stock a 42 followed by a 54 percent combo on my last stock and then you uh had to ledge guard me a, a bunch of times uh, last game, Pokemon Stadium, two minutes and forty-seven seconds. I took two stocks. He moved the one, old two, one, three. two, three, and one, I, three, two. Yeah, that's that's actually uh, a good example of, you know, like you, one, two, three. You were like calculated. Me, one, three, two. Got shit slightly in the wrong order. <laughs> uh, you had fourteen neutral ones. I had nine. Eight counter hits. I had seven. Your movements were. Your movement was three thirty-seven minus three thirty-four. Came with a down B, forward smash, up air, and a down B, and I killed you with an up air and an up smash. Um, my first stock, 24%, you just killed me. <laughs> but I had a 41% combo on your first stock. You had a 40% followed by a 40% on my second stock. I had a 71% combo followed by a 40% combo on your second stock. Damn. Might be your highest Fox combo. Versus, um, is it? I think so. It, yeah. I also said it might be. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. I mean, fun. Fun games. I uh, was lacking in execution, like I was saying. Um, like I had the plan, but I couldn't. Like I was, I was flubbing um, there at the end. In the beginning, I definitely was like not warmed up like enough. But I tend to warm up better when I'm just playing. 
I have a hard time. Like, I, I think starting out and way dashing a bunch and dash dancing, I think, is, is still somewhat helpful. But I've noticed that, I don't know about you, but it takes me a couple of games still of just playing. Really. Yeah, warming up and then actually playing the game is different. It usually takes me a while to warm up. That's why I do the 30 minutes warm up. All right, I think I shall. Well, we're not done with the. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we're not even done with the fucking episode. Um, any other thoughts? Nope. I mean, I played pretty sloppy. You know, you tried. Yeah, I feel like my recovery was fine. The angles I was choosing, the decisions I was making between side B and a B. Although I, I will say I side B too many times to the center of the stage. Um. But besides that, I feel like I did all right. I think I only died like once to missing a jump to get to the side B. That's good. Yeah, usually I do that like five times. Um, okay, well, name for the episode. Try and grab elevator. Or elevator regrab? Yeah. Elevator regrab. All right. So we're going to call us an episode for those of you on the stream. We're not going offline. We have a timer in the bottom left so we can turn these into episodes for YouTube. So stick around. We have another episode coming up after this. For those of you on YouTube, check us out live on twitch.tv slash TV. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.